How's everybody doing? It's Gregory Patrick again with New England's Rare Fishery. Today we're going to be talking about transplanting this Amazon sword plant. Now we had some trouble with this tank, I'm not going to lie to you guys, and we had some uh, weird things going on. A little bit of equipment failure. I uh, had no adequate lighting in here for only a few days and uh, things started to crash. You can see we had a really, really nice healthy plant and it didn't take very long for it to start getting lacy and yellow. And of course when um, the light went out. I didn't get a, you know, only like I say, less than three days, but um, there was some newly planted, you know, java ferns and a few things like that in there, and they started to melt off right away. You know how it is. And geez, we had an ammonia spike and like a snail explosion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these things happen, but um, I'm on a, I'm on it pretty much every week. You know, I don't let a week go by without testing. I saw all these spikes and I was uh, thinking, okay, it's time for an overhaul. You know, we're going to save everything in here. We got a couple auto sinkless. Uh, we'll, we'll zoom in on those. We have way more snails than I really want to uh, deal with. This is, like I said, a problem amount of snails, in my opinion. So they're getting distributed across the room, and even some of them are going into a goldfish tank. And, uh, you know, we'll wish for the best. But I uh, can't let this Amazon sword die, and that ammonia is going to kill it. So we're going to have to do something quick. Like I said, that uh, that lace right there wasn't like that only a few days ago, but uh, with the autos and the snails, and I have some shrimp in here too. And, uh, you know, when I lifted the lid to do the, uh, the chemical check, I can tell you, I could already smell the ammonia, so, geez, we got to do something quick. But these snails are everywhere. Might have been part of the problem, you know, because, um, you know, the dis random deficiencies start happening pretty quick. And uh, one snail goes, the uh, chemicals spike, so... You know, we're going to fix it, though, and that's really what matters. I always wanted to take this Amazon sword out of here anyway because I have all those angelfish, and that's where it's going to go. I have um, my best breeding pair in the largest angelfish tank. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that uh, there was up to eight in there at one time. But there's my autos. They're still doing well, but um, it's time for them to get out of here. They're going to go in my beta tank. But uh, here's where it's going to go. As you can see, really not a whole lot of action here as it used to be. It was a... Um, pretty hectic tank there were fish everywhere and they were nipping and fighting over territory but um you know these guys are super shy of course interrupting them is never fun you know but they they ran and hide and you know this is a big empty space you can see right there if you look in the bottom right corner there's a water lily seed and that was what i was going to intend on growing in here but um it's just going to take too long and i want these fish to be comfortable so here we go you know what are you going to do we got to do maintenance and um here we are i'm taking it out of the river stone like i said just loose river stone there was potting soil on the bottom there as you can see it's still clumping pretty good to the roots and i'm going to keep that on there that's just nutrients and it, it you know i don't want to break the roots as as you know that kind of stuff is no good for it but you, you can see it's still a healthy enough plant the, the roots look great you know that's a great color they're gonna do just fine if they transplant but um, we got a lot to salvage here covered with snails and snail eggs but um, here we go you know best angle I could get for this one and uh, yeah first you know I wanted to you know take the roots put them underneath the river stone very gently because those are fragile um, I sped up this food footage and you know did the best I could to make it actually usable but uh, you know, I would say uh, be gentler with it. Uh, it doesn't. It wasn't this rough in real life, but um, when you speed it up, things just look a little different, especially with frame rates, all that other fun stuff. But uh, you know, then I started situating it and fluffing out the leaves because you know, when it's once it starts fluffing out, it'll get buoyant again. The only thing that was holding it down was the the, the roots that I put in the corner there. But then you know, you stuff down the middle, cover it all up, get as many of the roots covered as you can with the loose river stone. I even weighted down the middle a little bit to um, keep it, like I said, you know, it still wants to be buoyant. I, I think this thing needs to be, f you know, firmly planted in there, though. It's not like a, any other java fern or anything that melted in the other tank, but, uh, you know, uh, you do your best to try to give it a nice little home. I might uh, throw in some root tabs later. I'm going to have to see how it does. If it recovers well, I'm pretty much not going to bother it. It's got a lot of melt. It's an angel fist tank. Those things um, produce a lot of waste, so it should do okay. And, um, yeah, you just want to make sure it's, it's, you know, safe and sturdy. It's not going to float away, and the angelfish aren't going to be able to yank it out of the ground. Here it is, all set and done, though. As you can see, I mean, these, these fish probably recognize this from when they were babies because they were pulled out of an Amazon River. So, you know, obviously, I've always wanted a sword there. But, you know, I went with lilies. I don't know. You know how it is. Um, I figured I'd always change it later anyway. But, um, 
here we go you can see they're really happy in there they're already picking off of course these, these guys are they're brooding so they do not like being interrupted i can tell you that there's the female down there she's acting shy but the male of course is you know standing out in front saying you know this is my plant now <laughs> you know? and that's great you know they were uh, they were cleaning it and they're hanging out with it now they're having a great time but you know here's the old tank um you know like i said that blue light was in there temporarily just to try to keep the amazon uh going while i was replacing the other light and that's probably going to go and now it's pretty much bare tank so i was going to ask you guys if you can you know comment what do you think this is a 20 gallon uh box could uh, have a lot of fun with it but um you know there's angel fish paradise and you know we'll see how it goes with the angel uh the angel fish in the amazon uh, i figure we'll be all right but uh thanks a lot for watching guys it's uh, been uh, gregory patrick with new england's rare fishery and uh yeah let's get involved share this around anybody likes these kinds of plants or these kinds of pets uh, let me know and um yeah please do what do you think we should put in that 20 gallon that'd be great i'd love to start a conversation about that so everybody have a great day